and shake, shake, shake. And you go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. And okay, keep going. Shake, shake, shake everything. Here comes cut here. And uh, maybe I should close this a little bit. Keep shaking, keep wriggling. Don't forget to do the whole okay. Loosen out the jaw. Bounce up and down. That's it. Yeah. I love how you guys get into this now. <laughs> Thanks for the bum shot, Stephen. It's like, all boys are doing bum shots today. Move. Your turn, Martin. Here we go. Good boy. And Rachel. <laughs> right. Chop, chop, lie down. <laughs> Find your way into a comfortable position. Again, if you're working with bricks, do go ahead and place them at the back of the mat in T position. If you're not working with bricks, just lie down. Okay. Make sure you are comfortable. And if you want to bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop out wide, go ahead and do that. Then breathe. Oh, while I turn off all the things that go ping, so settle in to the mat and take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And do that one more time, nice deep breath in. And let it go with a big sigh. And then allow the breath to flow in and out freely and softly. And watch the breath, watch as it flows in, watch as it flows out. And when you feel ready, you can start to encourage the breath to be a little slower so that you're breathing in a little bit more deeply and the out breath gets a little bit longer. Okay. So last week we worked on the root chakra, right, which is the base chakra at the bottom of our spine, at the tailbone. Okay. And that was all very much about feeling safe, secure, grounded, this week we're moving up to the sacral chakra. Okay? And the sacral chakra um, in Sanskrit is called Swadhisthana. Okay? It's a mouthful, but you know, there'll be a test at the end, so I hope you're listening carefully. Okay? Swadhisthana chakra, or the sacral chakra, is right in the center of our pelvic bone. So just a couple of inches below the tummy button, okay? and it's right in the middle, it's right in front of the spine right in front of the sacrum spine. Okay? This really is our physical core. Whenever we do core work, when we talk about engaging the core, this is the main core bit that we're talking about. Okay? And of course, then we have the legs and everything else to add into it. This is our center of creativity. It is very much that feminine energy. It's, a, um, it's all about our sense of self, our sexuality, our sensuality, okay? it's our ability to flow with life, to adapt and flow. Okay? So that's what we're working on today. Okay? And the sound, the seed sound at this chakra is vam, V-A-M, vam. Okay? The color here is orange. So it's a lovely color. So if you can focus on the center of your pelvic bowl okay, and maybe see the color orange, if you wish. Okay. Now, obviously, all of these are just things that people have assigned to this particular energy center. Um, so if you don't see the color orange, please don't freak out. There's nothing wrong with your sacral chakra. Okay. Let's just focus on that area. And as you breathe out now, start to lift the pelvic floor, draw the lower belly, lower back in and up towards the heart center and draw the front ribs down. As you breathe in, send the breath into the sides and the back of the ribs and let the belly and the pelvic floor relax. Okay? And keep breathing like that, but we're going to place the soles of the feet on the mat, 
roll over to one side and lie back down onto our back. Okay? Keep a brick nearby, okay? Keep a brick nearby because we're going to use it under our, our sacrum in a moment. Okay? But just for now, allow the spine to settle into the mat, extend the legs out in front of you, and do one big full body stretch, point the toes forward, and maybe a little wriggle gently side to side. And then use your next out breath to draw both knees up into the chest. Wrap your arms across your legs. Give yourself a big, big cuddle. Okay. Rocking it out, noticing the lower back, the sacral chakra, apart from being all about our um, reproductive organs and our lower tummy, it's also about our lower back. Okay. So extend the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling and rotate the wrists and ankles a few times in one direction and a few times in the opposite direction. Lovely. Now place your feet back on the mat, okay? And with the knees bent, lift your bottom up and slide your brick underneath your sacrum. And you can keep it on either the lowest setting. If you haven't got one, don't worry, you can do all this with a book or with our cushion. That's it, Rachel, okay? Um, you can either go lowest setting or just the medium setting, but don't go, don't go high, okay? Then from here, let's bring the right knee up into the chest okay, and give that right knee a big hug. And then if it feels okay for your body, extend the left leg straight out on the floor in front of you. You can keep the back of the heel resting on the floor and really hug that right knee in and press out through the left heel. And then we're going to hold the back of that right thigh and use our out breath, extend the right leg. That doesn't have to be perfectly straight, so don't worry about that. Just anywhere that feels okay. okay. And then you can rotate the ankle a few times in one direction and a few times in the opposite direction. Fabulous. And let's put our right foot back out on the mat with the knee bent. Okay. And we're going to keep the right leg close to the left thigh and walk the left leg a little bit over to the right and take your arms overhead and hold your right uh, hold your left wrist curve your upper body over to the right so everything is going to the right so that you end up in a banana shape but with your lower back resting on the or with your sacrum on the brick and breathe you can try pointing the toes think about hugging the right thigh and the left thigh towards each other and then slowly bend that left knee, come back to centre. Okay? And we're going to keep the right foot on the floor this time, bring the left knee up into the chest, hold on to the knee, give it a good hug, maybe slide that right leg straight out in front of you. Okay? Breathe here a moment. And then we're going to extend that left leg up again. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Okay? And you can rotate the ankle a few times. And the other way. Fabulous. And then we're going to place that left foot back on the floor, close to our right thigh. Okay. Walk the right foot a little bit over to the left. Take your arms overhead. Hold on to your right hand, right wrist, and shuffle your shoulders over to the left. Keep the shoulder blades grounded. Try pointing the right toes forward. See how that feels. And breathe. And then slowly release the hands, bend the right knee. Okay? And then just for a moment, let's just do a big stretch. Work, walking both legs straight out in front of you. Reach your arms over and point the toes forward. Nice long stretch here. And then release the arms, bend the knees again. And this time lift your bottom up, move the brick out or the cushion out and lower your sacrum back onto the mat. And have your feet a little wide, knees together. And notice how weird that sacrum area feels right now. I always think it feels weird. Kind of almost empty in a good way. And maybe you feel it, maybe you don't. Fabulous. And then from here, draw the knees up into the chest and begin to roll up and down the spine. And when you're ready, come all the way up and hover with your feet above the floor. Okay? Squeeze your inner thighs together, lengthen the spine and start to really connect to the sacrum area. So think about lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the lower belly and the lower back, in and up, spine long, smile, and then extend one leg, 
bend it, exhale, extend the other leg, inhale, bend, go back to the first side, extend, inhale, bend, exhale, extend, inhale, bend, exhale, extend both legs. Yeah, let go of the legs if you can, hold your hands out for a moment. Yeah, open the legs wide, hands forward, yeah. And then bring the legs together, arms wide. And again, open the legs wide, arms together. And the legs together, arms wide. Fabulous, lower the legs down. Cool, and then have your feet on the mat. Feet and knees are hip width apart. So we'll be working a lot on the hips as well today. So it's very much the hips, the lower back and the core, okay? So knees bent, feet wide, as if you were doing a squat, but you're sitting, right? Hold on to the back of the thighs, thighs, that's what they are, okay? And as you breathe in, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine, lift the chest. As you breathe out, round the spine and dive forward between your knees. Then inhale, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine, lift up. Exhale, round the spine and dive forward again. Inhale and lift up, exhaling to round and dive, and a few more like that. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, round the spine and dive. One more. Wonderful. And then we're going to have our legs together, feet on the floor. Okay. I'll turn this way. And we're going to inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, squeeze your fists together, lean back, maybe lift the legs, maybe not, okay? Inhale, reach your arms up, feet down. Exhale, lean back, float or not float, your choice. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale and lean back, long spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lean. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lean, and hold it again for a moment. Squeeze the legs together. Yeah. And then bring the soles of the feet together, feet back on the floor, knees wide. We did this last week, I believe. Okay. So interlace your fingers in Charlie's Angel's Mudra. Right? You remember that. All the fingers and thumbs interlaced except for the first finger pointing forward. Okay. Take a deep breath in as you reach forward. As you breathe out, press the big toe mounds against each other and lean back, lift the legs up if you wish, okay? Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, press the, the balls of the feet together, lift up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lean back, lift or not lift your choice. I cue wrongly the last time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. See if you can draw your thighs up a little closer to your chest. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, hold it, and really draw the legs up a little bit more and more and more if you can. If not, just stay down. Okay, do what we can. Wonderful. And then keep the right leg attached to your right arm. Extend the left leg. And exhale, bring that leg in. Extend the right leg. One more time each side. Oy, I'm about to fall over. Let's just do it quickly. Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. Lower it down. Well done. We're nearly done. I forgot what we're doing. That's why I'm still sitting here. Oh yeah, nearly done, but not quite. So take your hands down behind your back. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine, lift the chest, and little gentle rocking side to side, lengthening the front of the body. And then we're going to get into the one hip twist, which we haven't done in ages in this class. So bend the knees again, okay? Option one is to have your hands on the floor, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Option two, for those of you die hard core work, core people, palms together at your heart center, okay? And then from here, if you have any back pain, any hip pain, and you want to keep your feet on the floor, you are welcome to keep your feet on the floor, okay? And all you do is you twist with us, yeah? Those of you lifting your feet up, use your out breath, lift your legs up off the floor, okay? Inhale, extend the legs out. Exhale, squeeze the knees in towards the chest and twist to one side. Look back behind you. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, squeeze your legs together, twist to the other side, look back. Inhale, center. Exhale, back to the first side. Inhale, center. Exhale, the second side. Keep going a few more times. Remember which side you started on so that when you finish, you finish on the second side, not on the first side. Okay? Okay. 
So for the next time you finish on your second side, let that be your last one. And then lower the legs down, take the arms behind you, roll the shoulders onto your back, lift the chest, and sway it out side to side. Fabulous. And now you're going to do the U shape. There's a lot of core work. Did I mention that already? A lot of core work today, okay? So <laughs> sit nice and tall, have your legs together again, okay? And this is the one where we either, so option one would be to inhale, reach, exhale, lean back, stay there, inhale, reach, exhale, pull up. Option two would be with the feet off the floor and we roll up and down from the floor, okay? So I'm gonna show the option two because I think most of you will do option two anyway. So inhale, reach the arms forward, float the feet up. Exhale, squeeze your fists, roll down onto your back, but keep your head off the floor. Then you inhale, reach everything up. Exhale, squeeze and come back up to center, right? Let's do it. Inhale, reach your arms forward, feet up. Exhale, roll onto your back. Inhale, reach your arms and legs towards the ceiling. Exhale, squeeze and come up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze and roll down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and rock back up. A few more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze and roll down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and come all the way back up. Remember, you can keep your hands down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Lean back, Katia, maybe rather than roll down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and come back up. Last one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, reach up. Now, this time, as you exhale, just slowly lower the legs down towards the floor. Have your hands supporting under your head. Okay. And keep the legs straight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Smile. And lower all the way down. Okay. Lower all the way down. Do a big stretch. Reach your arms and your legs away from each other. And get really long. Stretch it out side to side. Wonderful. And then bend the knees. Have your feet on the mat. Okay. And feet and knees are going to be roughly hip width apart. Ankles are underneath your knees. Okay. And as you breathe out, press into the heels and peel the spine up off the mat. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, press into the feet, peel the spine back up again. Inhale and lower back down. Again, exhale all the way up and stay. Inhale, take your arms overhead. Okay. Exhale, lift the pelvic floor, draw the lower belly in and up. Hold the breath and rock the hips side to side. And when you're ready to breathe in, lift the chin, take a breath. Exhale, bring everything all the way back down to the floor. Inhale where you are. Exhale, press into your feet and lift all the way back up again. Okay. Inhale, take the arms overhead. Exhale, lift the pelvic floor, draw the lower belly in and up. Hold the breath, chin to chest, rock the hips. Then when you're ready to breathe in, lift the chin, take a breath. As you breathe out, roll all the way down again and take a breath in down here. One last one. Exhale, press into the feet, lift the bum, lift the spine. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, pelvic floor, lower belly in and up. Hold the breath, rock the hips. Take a deep breath in and exhale all the way down. And let's just do our usual twist walking the feet wide, arms out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop the knees down to the right. Inhale there. Exhale over to the left. Inhale there. Exhale, this time over to the right, stay. Place your right foot on the outside of your left knee to guide the left knee down to the floor. Tuck the tailbone gently and breathe. And then lower that right foot down, roll over to the left on your out breath and place your left foot on the outer right knee, guiding that right knee down. And gently tuck the tailbone for a deeper stretch if you like. And exhale, lower that left foot, come back to center. And we're going to roll up again, all the way up. And this time, go straight onto your hands and knees and start to move your spine in all directions, okay? So go for it, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, okay? 
and just start to wriggle the spine in all directions. Let your head move, let everything move. Wonderful. Okay. And then let's just come back to neutral spine and inhale, slide the heart forward, look up. As you exhale, push into the earth, round the spine, draw the belly in and up, and then inhale, slide the heart forward again. Okay. This time, exhale, tuck the toes under, bottom back towards your heels, lift up into downward dog. Okay. And start to walk your dog out, maybe walk your hands a little bit more forward so you're in your full dog. Okay. And walk your dog out. And then we're going to bend the knees a little bit. And let's lower our right forearm down to the mat. And then lower the left forearm down to the mat. And then extend the legs back up again, pressing your bum back and up so you're in dolphin pose. Okay. And just to play with our shoulders a little bit, can you start to turn your palms up to face the ceiling and try to press the thumb side of your hands into the mat as well. And breathe. Wonderful. And then from here, turn the palms back down. Okay. And you're going to push down into one hand, lift the other arm up, push into the other hand, lift up into downward dog. Okay. Beautiful. And from here, bend the knees, look a little forward between your hands, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, step up, jump to the front of the mat, coming into a standing forward bend. We're just going to work our hamstrings a little bit here. So as you breathe in, Okay. I want you to sink your bum down as low as you can towards the squat, feet forward, knees forward. As you breathe out, lift your bum up into a forward bend again. Inhale, sink your bum down as far as it's okay for you. Okay. Exhale, and lift back up into a forward bend. Keep going a few more times. Check that you're not knocking your knees in. Okay. So keep your knees and your toes going in the same direction. One more time, inhale to bend, and exhale, lifting back up into a standing forward bend, and then start to nod your head yes, and shake your head no. And when you're ready to come up, use your next out breath, press into the feet, and come all the way up to stand. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, release. Fabulous, roll your shoulders back and down a few times if you wish, okay? So we're going to move. Because it's a creative class, it will be a funny creative thing, vinyasa, which you've done before though, okay? So I'm gonna turn sideways because it's easier for you to see me, but let's stand, stand tall at the front of the mat, okay? And as you breathe in, push into the feet, float the arms up. As you breathe out, bend the knees and fold forward. Okay? Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back into downward dog. As you breathe in, bend the knees a little. As you breathe out, push the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, just this one time. Okay? Then inhale, we're going to come into cobra. And I want you to now Bend your right knee in your cobra pose, lift the chest up. As you exhale, we're going to roll over our left leg to sit down and bring that right foot to the inside of our left thigh, okay? And then we're just going to twist over to our right leg, to our bent knee leg. So take your right hand behind you, take your left hand to the outside of your right knee, okay? And inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhaling, twist, and breathe there. Wriggle the spine a little bit. Okay? A tiny little micro movement. Wonderful. Then on your next out breath, you're going to turn back towards the mat. Place your left hand back to the front of your mat. Okay? So, Stephen, you'd be turning, facing back to begin with. Backwards, with your right knee bent. Back to the end of your mat, the, the back end of your mat. Right knee bent, yeah. And then reach your left hand back to the front of the mat. Okay. 
And then from here, guys, we're going to press into the outside edge of our left leg and into our right foot and lift up into, into a side plank here. Okay? And then as you exhale, you're going to flip forward and drop your right foot all the way forward and lower your left knee down, left knee down to the floor. Okay? And walk your right foot out to the right a little bit. So you should be facing front now, Stephen. <laughs> front, front, front. Hands to the inside of your right leg. Right leg forward. We'll get there. And do little hip circles into your right hip joint. We'll get there, Stephen. I'm confusing you to death. <laughs> and go the other way a few times. Wonderful. And then we're going to... Press into our hands, lift the left knee up off the mat, press out through that left heel. Okay? And again, just a little gentle rocking side to side here. And when you're ready to breathe, uh, next time step back into downward dog. Okay? And as you breathe in, bend the knees a little. As you breathe out, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. Okay? And then inhale in your plank. As you exhale, you can lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Okay? Then lower down. Inhale into cobra. Bend the left knee. Bend the left knee in cobra. Okay? And lift the chest up. And then as you exhale next time, roll over your right leg to sit down facing the back of your mat. With your left leg to the inside of your right thigh. Okay? We're going to twist to the left. So take your left hand behind you and your right hand to the outside of your bent left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Little wriggle there. Move your spine a little. Wonderful. Now, as you exhale next time, take your right hand back onto the front of the mat. Fabulous. And then place your left foot on the floor, roll over the outside edge of your right leg and lift up into like a side plankish here. And when you're ready to breathe out, step your left foot forward, lower your right knee down and walk your left foot out to the left, hands on the inside of the left leg and do a few hip circles here. And in the opposite direction, Lovely, and then we're going to place our palms flat on the mat. Tuck the right toes under, inhale, lift the right knee up off the floor, and just a gentle swaying side to side. Don't forget when you're breathing out, you're engaging the pelvic floor of the lower belly. And as you breathe out next time, take your left leg back to join the right. And as you breathe in, bend both knees a little. As you breathe out, press the thighs back, way forward into plank or onto your hands and knees if you prefer. Okay? Inhale there. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin or chaturanga or whatever works for you. Inhale into cobra and exhale back up to downward dog. Okay? Bend the knees, look where you're going, take a breath in. And as you exhale, step a jump to the front of the mat. As you breathe in, come up halfway. As you breathe out, press into the feet and come all the way up. Inhale the arms up, exhale and release the arms down. So we're going to add on to that as we go along. Okay? So let's um, start tall at the front. You can have your feet hip width or together, your choice. Okay? Inhale, push into the feet, float the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, coming up halfway, nice long spine. Exhale, take your hands down, step up, jump back into downward dog. Now, some of you might want to do a three-legged vinyasa or not. This is your choice. If you're doing three-legged vinyasa, let's inhale, take the right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, everybody, bend either the left knee or both knees if you're on the floor. And as you wave forward, coming into plank, Think about drawing the belly and the, the belly in and up, and when you're ready to breathe out, lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, that right leg is going to bend into a three-legged cobra. Okay. 
As you exhale, roll over your left leg, place your right foot down and twist to the right. Take a deep breath in there. As you breathe out, turn forward, place your left hand onto the mat. Okay. And we're going to lift up into side plank again, pressing into both feet. But maybe this time you can start to rotate the chest a bit more towards the ceiling for a while thing. Just be gentle. Exhale, step your right foot all the way forward. Okay. And we're going to lower the left knee down, wiggle the right foot out to the right. Okay. And then from here, we're just going to do a light. We're not going to take the legs out to the side because we've already done the hip circle. Bring it to the center. Bring it back to the center so the hands frame the front leg. Okay? If you're working with bricks, you can have your hands on the bricks. Okay? And as you breathe in, hug the front foot back, knee, lift the chest. As you breathe out, rock the hips back, work your front leg towards straight and fold. Inhale, come forward, hug the front foot back, knee, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back, dig the heel down and fold. One more time. Inhale, come forward, lift the chest. Exhale, go back and fold. And then inhale, bend that front knee, tuck the back toes. Exhale, go back into downward dog. Okay. And from here, we're going to inhale, maybe lift the left leg up if you're doing three-legged. If not, just bend the knees a little. And as you exhale, wave forward, coming into plank. Inhale in plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale into three-legged cobra with the left knee bent, chest lifting. Exhale, roll over your right leg and place your left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Twist to the left. Take a breath in in your twist. As you breathe out, turn back to the front, place your right hand down and lift up into either side plank or a little bit more towards the wild thing. Okay. When you're ready to breathe out, flip back to the mat and step your left foot forward okay, to the inside of your left hand and hands can come onto the bricks. Hug the front foot back knee, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back, dig the heel down and fold. Inhale, come forward, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back and fold. Inhale, come forward, lift the chest again. And exhale, rock back and fold again. And then inhale, come forward, lift your back knee up off the floor. I haven't forgotten anything, have I? And exhale, step back into downward dog. And then if you want to vinyasa, vinyasa, if you prefer to hold this dog now, you can hold this dog, your choice, okay? So those who want to vinyasa, go into plank, and lower chaturanga when you're ready, into cobra when you're ready, and back into dog. And everybody bend the knees up forward to where you're going. And as you exhale, step a jump to the front of the mat. And take your time, find your way up to stand. Whoa. Are we okay? We good? Cool. Let's keep going. Okay. So, standing nice and tall. Okay. As you breathe in, push into the feet, float the arms up. As you breathe out, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back into downward dog. Okay. Those doing a normal vinyasa, remember, just do a normal one. Otherwise, inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, everybody, wave forward, either into plank or onto your hands and knees. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower chaturanga on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, three-legged cobra with the right knee bent, chest lifts. Exhale, roll over your left leg, put your right foot down and twist to the right. Inhale there. Exhale, spin back, take your left hand onto the mat. And we're going to ground into the outside edge of our left foot. But this time we're going to stack the right foot on top of the left. Coming into full side plank for those of you who want to go into side plank. Okay. Take a nice deep breath in here. Now as you breathe out, bend that right knee and let it hover above the left leg for a moment. For those of you who are in the full plank. So you're doing the tree side plank like we did last Monday. Take a breath. 
As you breathe out, flip and take your right leg forward, okay? And lower your left knee down. Cut here. If you're not doing the full side plank, just do your modified one and ignore all that other stuff. Cool. Hands onto the bricks if you're working with bricks. Inhale, lift the chest again. Hug the front foot, back knee. Exhale, slide the hips back. Dig the right heel down and fold. Then inhale, come back into the lunge and lift your left leg off the floor. Left knee, not leg, just the knee. <laughs> Keep the foot on the floor, please, okay? Right, then from here, inhale, reach the heart forward. Exhale, slide the hips back, work your right leg towards straight, maybe dig the heel down and lift the toes. And keep the legs as they are, squeeze your thighs to, to, towards each other. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold over that right leg. Inhale, slide the heart forward again. Exhale and fold over the right leg again. One more. Inhale, heart forward. And exhale, fold. And sway the hips gently side to side here. Fabulous. And then we're going to bend that right knee as you breathe in. As you breathe out, place your hands on the mat, step back, downward dog. Okay. And again, if you're doing normal vinyasa, you do a normal vinyasa. Otherwise, inhale, lift the left leg up. As you exhale, you're going to wave forward, coming into plank or onto your hands and knees. Inhale here. Exhale, lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale into three-legged cobra. And exhale and roll over your right leg, left foot to the inside of the right knee, twist to the left. Inhale there. Exhale, take your right hand back onto the mat, to the front of the mat, and press into the outside edge of your right foot. If you can stack, stack your left foot on top of your right into full side plank, do that. Okay. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, see if you can bring your left foot to hover above the right knee. So you're like in a side plank tree. On your next out breath, flip all the way to the mat, take your left foot forward and your right knee down to the floor. Inhale, hug the front foot, back knee, lift the chest up. Exhale, rock back, dig the heel down and fold. Inhale, bend that left knee, tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee up. Okay. As you exhale, so the right knee is off the floor, as you exhale, slide your hips back, work your left leg towards straight, dig the left heel down, okay? Inhale, heart forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, heart forward again, exhale, fold over your left leg. One more, inhale, heart forward, exhale and fold. And then stay there, sway the hips gently side to side. And then inhale, bend that front knee. Exhale, step back, downward dog. Okay. And you're going to just, let's flow again to the next side, to the next sequence already. So inhale, lift your right leg up. If you're doing three-legged vinyasa, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, way forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. And as you exhale, lower chaturanga, on knees, chest, chin. Inhale into three-legged cobra. Exhale, roll over your left leg, right foot to the inside of the left thigh, twist right. Inhale there. Exhale, spin back, left hand back onto the mat. Okay? And we're going to lift up into wild thing again. So push into the feet, spin the chest up towards the ceiling, dig your heels down. Okay? And really open that chest up towards the ceiling, slide your head back. Deep breath in. As you exhale next time, right foot forward. Okay? Keep the left knee off the floor. So we're going to stay high straight away. Okay? Inhale, hug the front foot, back knee, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back, dig the right heel down and fold over that right leg. Then inhale, bend that right knee again. Okay? As you exhale, step your left foot in a little bit closer. Place your left heel down with the left big toe pointing towards the front left corner of the mat. Inhale, look a little forward. Exhale, push into your feet and come all the way up into warrior one, chest forward. 
Inhale here. As you exhale, take your arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Grounding through both feet. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs in and fold forward. Inhale, ground through the feet and lift the chest again. And exhale, hug the inner thighs towards each other as you fold. One more time. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale and fold. And we're going to stay folded. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other. Relax the neck. Draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. Okay? And breathe. And the next time you breathe out, release your hands down to the floor and step back to downward dog. Wonderful. And then when you're ready, if you're doing three-legged vinyasa, inhale, lift the left leg up first. Exhale, come forward into plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale into your three-legged cobra. And as you exhale, roll over your right leg, left foot to the inside of the right thigh and twist left. Inhale there. Exhale, spin back to the mat. Take your right hand to the front of the mat. Grounding into both feet. Lift your bum up. Spin your chest up. Wild thing. Okay? And really ground into everything that's on the floor and see if you can lift the heart up a little bit more. Engage the core. And then exhale, flip back to the mat. And take your left leg all the way forward to the front of the mat. Right knee is not on the floor, so keep the right knee off the floor. Okay. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back, take the left heel down and fold. Inhale, bend the left knee again and place your right heel on the mat with the right big toe pointing towards the front right corner of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push and come all the way up into warrior one again, both legs strong. When you're ready to breathe out, take your arms behind you, interlace the fingers the weird way around if you can. Inhale, lift the chest ground through the feet. Exhale, draw the belly in and up as you fold. Inhale, push into the feet and come back up. Exhale and fold again. Inhale and lift up, up, up. Exhale and fold and stay folded. Hug the inner thighs in, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine, head completely relaxed, so your neck is completely relaxed. And then the next time you breathe out, release the hands down and step back into downward dog. Okay? And we're going to skip all the vinyasas for now, so inhale, lift your right leg up, and exhale, step the right foot forward okay? and we're going to ground that left heel down for warrior one okay? look forward as you breathe in as you breathe out come all the way up into warrior one chest forward okay? nice deep breath in here as you exhale we're going to spin onto the balls of the back foot and take our weight into our right leg lift the left leg up coming into warrior three Take a nice deep breath into your warrior three. And as you breathe out, you're going to slowly come up to stand, bringing that left knee up with you. Okay. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bend the right knee a little bit. Shoot your left leg straight back into warrior three again. And then as you breathe in, slowly come back up, bringing that left knee up again. And as you breathe out, slowly take it back way into warrior three again. And don't fall over like I just did. And this time, as you breathe and keep the leg straight, slowly bring it forward and see you can use your core to pull that left leg straight up. Yeah. And then exhaling, shooting it back through warrior three, all the way back and down and all the way into downward dog. We're just making your legs work so we can stretch it out a bit more. Okay, walk it out a little if that feels good. And then from here, inhale, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, step your left foot forward. Okay? 
and ground your right heel down for warrior one again. Squeeze your inner thighs together, inhale, look forward. Exhale, press into the feet and come all the way up into warrior one. Nice deep breath in here. And as you breathe out, you're going to spin onto the balls of your right foot, tip forward from the hip creases, lifting up into warrior three. Then as you breathe in, slowly bring that right knee up to your chest as you stand up. And as you breathe out, slowly bend from the hip creases, taking the right leg back into warrior three again. Inhale, come back up into standing knee lift. And exhale, back into warrior three. Don't forget anything. We're going to straighten the leg, aren't we? This time, as you breathe in, take your right leg straight down and up in front of you. Lift it up. Use your core. Pull it up, up, up. Squeeze your legs together. Beautiful. Exhale, slowly take it back. Lower your hands down and step all the way back into downward dog. Walk your dog out. And then from here, okay, inhale, lift your right leg up again. Okay, and exhale, step your right foot forward again. Okay, and ground your left heel down. For, for, actually, don't ground the heel down. Just stay on the balls of the feet. Squeeze the legs together. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come all the way up into high lunge. Okay, take a deep breath in here in your high lunge, squeezing your inner thighs towards each other. As you exhale, we're going to do one warrior three. So come into warrior three, taking your weight into your right foot. Okay? And then keep that left leg straight. Slowly inhale, bring that left leg all the way forward. Fabulous. As you exhale, start to take it out to the side. And then you're going to lower it all the way back behind you, coming into warrior two. Wonderful. Then from here, Let's just inhale back into reverse triangle. Okay? So straighten that right leg. As you exhale, bend that right knee. Bring your right hand somewhere below the right knee and spin your chest up towards the ceiling, left arm up. And if you want to straighten the right leg into full triangle, you can. Okay? Hug the feet in towards each other. Lengthen out both sides of your waist, the shoulders onto your back. Breathe here a moment, relaxing the neck. Think about the center of your being, that, that core in the center of the pelvic ball, drawing that area in towards the spine. Maybe you can think of the sound bum. When you're ready to breathe in, no, I lied. When you're ready to breathe out, bend that right knee. As you breathe in, lift back up into warrior two. Turn your right toes to point towards the front left corner of your mat. Drag your left foot in a little bit so that you can bend the knees with both feet turning out and your knees pointing in the same direction as your toes. Okay? And hands can come down onto your thighs for a moment. Adjust until you're comfortable. Okay? And then from here, inhale, arms up. Exhale, draw your fists by your hips. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, ha, pump it out from the belly. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, ha. Inhale up. Exhale, ha. Inhale forward. Exhale, ha. Inhale forward. Exhale, ha. Inhale forward. Exhale, ha. Inhale forward. Exhale, ha. Then inhale, stand all the way up. Turn your toes forward so the feet are parallel. As you exhale, have a little fold forward into a standing wide leg forward bend. Okay. And you can sway the hips side to side. Wonderful. And then from here, bend both knees a little bit. Start to walk around to face your right hand. Turn your right toes to the front of the mat and step back into downward dog. All the way back into downward dog, okay? And walk your dog out a little if that feels okay. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale, lift the left leg up. And as you exhale, step the left foot forward and hug the inner thighs in towards each other. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come all the way up into the crescent lunge, okay? Take a deep breath in here, lengthen the spine. 
And as you breathe out, take your weight into your left leg and lift that right leg up into warrior three. And when you're ready to breathe in, keep that right leg straight, pull the belly in and up and lift your left leg all the way up. As you breathe out, start to take that right leg out to the side and all the way back behind you, lower into warrior two. Okay. And then from here, straighten that left leg. Inhale, lean back into reverse triangle. Exhale, bend the left knee a little, reach forward with the left hand and bring it somewhere below the knee. Spin the chest up, and if you want to straighten the left leg and take the right arm up, you're welcome to. Okay. Think about drawing the front of your body and the back of your body all in towards the spine, hugging into the midline. Relax the neck. Fabulous. Exhaling, bending that front knee. Okay? And as you breathe in, you lift back up into warrior two. Then you're going to, you can release the hands down, spin your left toes to point towards the front right corner of your mat and drag your right heel in a little bit so that we can go back into the tempo pose. Okay? So both feet are slightly turned out, knees bent. And again, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, ha! Inhale up. Exhale, ha! Inhale up. Exhale, ha! Inhale up. Exhale, ha! Inhale forward, exhale, ha! Inhale forward, exhale, ha! Inhale forward, exhale, ha! One more, inhale forward, exhale, ha! And then inhale, straighten your legs, arms up, turn the feet parallel again. Exhale, bend the knees a little bit, interlace the fingers behind your back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward from the hip creases and take the arms up towards and the knuckles up towards the ceiling or towards the front of the mat, the front of the room if that feels okay for you. Okay. Keep the knees a little bit soft, some of you, so that maybe you can fold a little bit more deeply with a long spine. Okay. Breathe. And then when you're ready, release the hands, walk your hands around to the left foot, turn the left foot forward, and then step back into downward dog. We're nearly, nearly, nearly ish done, okay? So let's just, one more sequence before we get to where I want us to go. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Okay? And as you exhale, step the right foot forward. And we're going to revisit what we did earlier. We're going to lower the left knee back down to the floor. Inhale, hug the front foot back knee towards each other. Lift the chest. And then from here, if you're okay, start to bring your hands onto your right leg. Hug the front foot back knee and lift the chest up. And think about drawing your tailbone down, okay? Some of you will stay right here. Some of you will be able to bend that back knee and reach your left hand to find the foot, okay? And if you are catching the foot, once you've got the foot in your hand, Hug the front foot back knee towards each other, slide the hips forward. So your right knee is going to go in front of your right ankle and draw that left foot in a little closer to you. Okay? And if you are one of these people who can flip the grip here, you're going to take your left hand to the outside of the foot, hold the top of the foot and grip, grip it. I can't, so I'm just going to draw it in and spin the chest forward. If you've got your balance, you can take your right arm up. Breathe. And then exhaling, release. Bring your hands down to frame your right leg again. Okay? But this time we're going to slowly walk the right foot over to the left a little bit and lower the right knee down behind the right wrist for pigeon. Okay? And we're going to not fold forward here. We're going to do another back bend. So bring your right hand to the center of the mat. And you can bend the left knee if you wish to grab hold of the left foot. If you're not going to grab hold of that left foot, all you have to do is reach your left hand back, but keep spinning the chest forward. You might even want to bind it behind if that feels good. But if you've got the foot, push the foot into your hand, lift the chest up, breathe. Okay. And maybe, maybe, maybe some of you will want to do the flippy thing. I'm not ready for it today. If you are, go for it. 
okay? If not, just slowly draw that left foot in closer to your bum, but keep your chest lifted, maybe hooking the left elbow across if you prefer. If you want to go into the mermaid, you can take your right arm behind your head, find the clasp with both hands, but keep spinning the chest forward and lifting the chest up. And then exhale, release that left foot, hands onto the floor and take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, step back into downward dog, bend the knees a little and push your bottom way back and up, lengthening the spine and then extend the legs by pressing the heels back. And just stay there allowing the spine to just be in neutral for a moment. And we're going to go to the second side. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg up. As you exhale, step the left foot forward, lower the right knee down to the mat. Okay? And we're going to hug the front foot, back knee, lift the chest, and as you breathe out, slowly climb up onto your front leg, drawing the tailbone down. Okay? And feel free to stay here. You might want to interlace the fingers if you're staying here. But those who want a little bit more, bend that right knee, take your right hand to find the right foot. Okay? And once you've got that, hug the front foot, back knee towards each other, engage the pelvic floor, lower belly, and slide your hips forward. And then spin your chest forward as you push that right foot into your hand. So you're getting a front of the shoulder opening here. Okay? And keep your core engaged. Think about the pelvic floor, lower belly, lifting in and up. And then if you want to draw the foot in closer to your bum, you can. Okay? You might want to hook the arms. You might want to lift your left arm up. Or you might want to reach your left hand. Oh, let's not do it in this one yet. You can if you want to. If you want to go all the way into the mermaid one, you can. Okay? And then exhale. Next time, release that right foot. Bring your hands down. And wriggle your left foot over towards your right hand as you lower the left knee down. Okay? Pigeon pose. Remember, if it's too much, you can be in a soft deer pose. But if you're in pigeon, we're going to do the back bend again. So you're going to bend your right knee. Okay? And if you can reach your hand back for it, grab it. If you can't grab it, you can just reach back. Okay? But if you've got the foot, push the foot into your hand, spin the chest forward and lift the heart up. And now for those who want to go into mermaid, drawing the foot in, wrapping the elbow across the top of the foot, and then you can take the left arm back and up, coming into mermaid, spinning the chest forward, lifting the heart up, up, up. And then when you're ready, exhale, release, lower the right foot down and step back again into downward dog, grounding the heels down. But you can keep the knees soft if you like, but just extend backward so that your spine's nice and long. Then we're going to step or jump or hop, whatever it is that feels good to the front of the mat, landing in Malasana, in the yogic squat. And then press the elbows into your inner knees. If you have to have your hands on the floor, you can have your hands on the floor. But if you're okay with the palms together, then have your palms together and gently rock side to side. Again, really focus on breathing out, lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the lower belly and the lower back in and up. So don't sink, whatever you do, right? Lift up, get strong. Okay. Wonderful. And we're going to do one crow pose. Some of you will do the normal crow where you have your hands on the floor. Some of you might want to try the baby crow where you get your elbows on the floor and squeeze your knees into your upper arms and tip forward, pushing into the earth, and maybe curl the toes off the floor. So it's just like crow pose, but with your forearms down, and you're much closer to the floor. If that works, it works. If it doesn't, just either stay in malasana, or you can do your normal crow pose. Okay. And then just go back into child's pose for a moment. We're not quite done with all the hip work we're doing, but you are entitled to at least one child's pose in a whole hour, for goodness sake. How mean am I? <laughs> right, that's your one child's pose done for the day. Okay. So, you know, we've said we're going to work towards the splits. I thought we'll start with a standing split. So when you're ready, 
Take yourself back into downward dog. Okay. And from your down dog, inhale your right leg up. And as you exhale, step your right foot forward. Okay. And you're going to come, walk your hands forward. Okay. So keep walking your hands forward and, and you're going to eventually have to lift that left leg up like you're going to go into warrior three. Okay. Bend the right knee a little bit if you wish. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold over that right leg. And maybe you can walk your hands in a little closer to your right foot and keep pressing that left leg up, up, up. Okay. And for a little bit of fun, okay? Those of you who are already struggling here, stay here. Those of you who feel you want to have a little play, try bending that left knee, okay? And you're going to take your left hand out to the side so that you have a nice wide base of support. You're going to take your right arm to the inside of your right leg and reach it up to find your left foot. Okay? And hug that right leg into your right arm. Start to press that left outer knee up towards the ceiling. Okay? And you can twist to look towards your left arm. And then when you're ready, Release the bind, hands framing your right foot, lower your left leg all the way back behind you. Okay. And then, for a bit of fun, just start to slide your right leg forward. Okay. Keep the left leg straight, and you guys, you only go where it feels okay, right? So if you want to stop at any point and have a rest, please do. Those of you who can keep sliding the legs away from each other, Go ahead and find your way towards the splits okay, and lift the chest up. If you are not going into the splits, you can try going back into pigeon okay, and pick up that back knee again. If you are in the full splits, you can try bending that back knee and drawing the back heel in towards your, your outer hip. Okay. And then when you're ready, wherever you are, Slowly come out as elegantly as you can. If you're in that split, start to walk the back knee in and the front foot in. And then step back into downward dog. Have a little bending of one knee and then the other a few times. And we're going to do the second side. Okay? So inhale, lift your left leg up. Actually, sorry, do you want to lower down and see what I meant with the standing balance? I think some of you do already know this, but I'll just show you anyway. So what I said was that I had, if, if it's my right leg, right, and the other one's lifted up there, I'll turn sideways, I'll do it this way, my left leg, my left leg is on the floor, my right leg is up. What I'm doing is I'm bending that top knee, and the hand that's on the same side as the bent knee is reaching out to the side for balance. And the other arm, the arm on my left, my left arm, is going to come to the inside of my left leg so that I can then grab hold of my right foot. Okay? And then I'm going to press that right leg up and twist a little bit to look under my left arm. All right? You've all done this one before, I think. Yeah? So let's do it the second side. So back into downward dog. And from your dog, inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, step the left foot forward. Okay? And start to walk your hands forward until you can lift your right leg all the way up. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, walk your hands in a little closer to your left leg so that you go a little deeper into that forward bend. And keep pressing your right leg up, up, up. And stay here if you wish. But if you want a little bit of fun, you can bend that right knee so the right foot comes towards your left buttock. Walk your right hand out to the right to create a better base of support. Take your left arm to the inside of your left leg to find your right foot. And once you've got that, think about pressing the right knee up towards the ceiling and twist to look to the right. And then when you've had enough of that, you're going to let that go and lower your right leg all the way back behind you okay and we're going to keep sliding the legs away from each other okay if you have bricks you can work with bricks but if you're okay to go into the full splits on this side by all means do i need to have the bricks for this side 
okay? And if you're happy to stay in the half splits, stay in the half splits. But if you're going into a full one and you can settle into it, maybe with a brick, maybe not, then go ahead and lift the chest up, okay? And then if you want a little bit more, you can bend that back knee and grab hold of the foot and draw it in and spin your chest forward. But of course, then you have to come out. And the splits is one of these poses, difficult as hell to come out of. So place your hands down and start to drag one foot in, drag the back knee in, and you're going to bring the legs in onto, so you're onto your hands and knees. Okay? And inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine and start to wriggle the spine in all directions a moment, yeah? And then you're going to lie, no, you're going to go into um, a handstand or any kind of inversion. So if you want to lie down, legs up in the air, you can do that. But if you want to, from here, lift up into downward dog, walk your hands back to your feet and find your, ways to the, your way to the wall for your handstand or any inversion you wish and go ahead and do that. If you want to stay on your mat and do dolphin pose, that's great. If you want to do a headstand, you can do a headstand. If you are doing a handstand okay, or a headstand, but you know that you have your balance, you can try taking the legs towards the split. So you can try keeping one leg up and lowering the other leg down towards the floor, okay, but without falling out, which is easier said than done. Okay. And then swap to the other leg if you're trying. Wonderful. So yeah, there's got to be a counterbalance if you're going to take your legs towards the split. One leg that's going back, the other one's got to go forward. So think about counterbalancing with the legs a little bit. Okay? If you're lying down, legs up in the air, then that's what you're doing. Lying down, legs up in the air, that's perfectly fine. And when you're ready, everybody, once you've done it, come on down okay? and find your way to lie onto your tummy. Lie onto your tummy and have one cheek on your hands and have a little rest right, lying on your tummy for a moment. We're going to have to do a few back bends here to realign our spine back up. So rest for a moment. And then when you're ready, okay, you're going to bring your forehead onto the mat and you're going to have your hands by your rib cage, elbows pointing up towards the ceiling. And when you're ready, we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades towards the spine. And as you breathe out, extend out through the balls of the legs, the feet, and lift the legs up. And as you breathe in, lift the chest, lift the head up. Okay? And reach your arms back towards your feet as if you're trying to grab hold of your feet. And really think about sliding your chest forward and extending out through the balls of the feet and get the glutes and the hamstrings working. Okay? And exhale, keep the thighs lifted off the mat. Bend the knees, point the toes towards your bum. Inhale, extend the legs. Exhale and bend. Inhale and extend. Exhale and bend. And then lower all the way down. Turn on to the other cheek. Big toes touching, rock the hips gently side to side. Lovely, forehead back onto the mat. And then think hands alongside your rib cage. Again, elbows up. And as you exhale, extend out through the balls of the feet, float the legs up. Okay. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the head. Exhale, bend the knees. Reach your hands back to find your feet or your ankles. Okay. And then as you breathe in, press the feet back into your hands and lift the chest up. And think about reaching the feet up towards the ceiling as you press back as well. And breathe. Beautiful. And then exhale and release. Okay. And you're going to roll onto your back. That's it. I don't mind which way. I don't, I don't mind if your head or your bum's towards me. It's fine. Roll onto your back. Okay. 
Have your knees bent on the mat. That's it, and we're going to lift up into bridge. So make sure your feet are roughly hip width apart, ankles underneath the knees, arms in robot arm position. Inhale, press into the arms, get the chest lifted. Exhale, press into the feet and peel the spine up off the mat. And really think about digging the heels down. Almost like you're trying to pull the heels towards you and you can interlace the fingers underneath your back if you wish and wriggle your elbows a little closer together. Okay. Think about really digging down into the heels. Okay. And then the next time you breathe out, release the hands and lower all the way back down. Okay. And just stay in neutral for a moment. And then now we're going to do a similar thing, but you're going to ex walk your legs clo a little closer together maybe. So let's see how it feels. Adjust and change if you need to, okay? Extend the left leg forward. The, left, the back of the left heel is on the floor, yeah? And now as you exhale next time, press into the right foot, into the left foot, lift the spine up so you're in a one leg bridge, okay? And you can bring your arms into whatever position you like so that your hands and your arms can help you lift up. Now think about bringing both heels towards your bum. You're not moving them, but feel that sense of digging down into both heels if you're, as if you're trying to draw them towards your bum. And the next time you breathe out, release all the way back down. Okay? Bend your left knee and extend your right leg out. Same thing, second side, okay? So left knee's bent, right leg is straight. And as you exhale, press into the feet, lift the spine up off the mat, and use your hands to help you in any way that works. So you can press the elbows down, you can interlace the fingers, whatever works. But use both heels as if you're trying to pull the front edge of the mat towards your bum. And breathe. And then exhale, release all the way down. Okay? And now draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a quick hug. Okay? If anyone wants to do a wheel pose, now you can go up into a wheel. Okay? But if anyone is happy to stay in the bridge, and we're going to do bridge, lifting one leg up and lower, and then lifting the other leg up and lower. Those going into bridge, set yourself up with the knees, bent feet if width apart. If you're going into wheel, you do that too, but take your hands by your ears. Okay? And when you're ready, use your out breath to lift up either into bridge or wheel. Okay? And once you're up, if you want to try lifting one leg up, walk your feet a little closer together. Ground into everything that's on the floor and exhale, lift one leg up. Extend it or keep it bent, I don't mind. Okay? Inhale there, exhale, lower it down. And then we're going to do the other side. So when you're ready, exhale, lift the other leg up. Inhale there. And exhale, lower all the way down, and come all the way down, everybody. That's done for today, okay? And walk your feet a little wider apart, knees together, arms across the chest, and breathe. And then we're going to just have a little twist of your choice. Pick a twist that feels good for your body right now. And once you've done one side, then go ahead and do the other side. And once you have done both sides, you're going to come back to center okay, with the knees bent again. Just a couple of pelvic tilts here. Okay? We're nearly done. Okay? But I want you to place, again, you're making a triangle with your hands, right? And you're going to place the heels of your hands onto the bony hip bones at the front of the pelvis. And your thumbs are going to touch each other. And your index fingers are also going to touch each other above the pubic bone. Your thumbs are just around the tummy button area and your, your index fingers and all your other fingers are resting towards your pubic bone, right? And in that triangle is pretty much your core. That is your Svadhisthana chakra. 
right there in between your thumbs and your fingers. Okay? Press into the feet as you breathe out, tilt the pubic bone up, flatten the lower back into the mat. As you breathe in, tilt the pubic bone forward and feel the lower back gently lifting away from the floor. As you breathe out, tilt the pubic bone up again and keep going, rocking the pubic bone up and down. Okay? As you breathe out, you tilt up. As you breathe in, you tilt down. So if you imagine maybe a marble in between your index fingers and your thumbs, you can think about rolling the marble towards your tummy button and then rolling your marble away towards the floor. Okay? And rock it out that way a few times, really focusing on the core of your body on the home of the sacred self, our sacred chakra, our creative center, creative energy center. And then when you're done rocking, lift both feet up off the mat. Take the knees out wide. Bring the toes to touch so you're in that like supine line, like what how we start the class. Feet together, knees wide. And just gently rock side to side, massaging the lower back out here. Wonderful. And we're going to extend both legs up towards the ceiling. Okay. We're going to cross the right thigh tightly over the left leg and then bend both knees. Okay. So a really tight cross, so your right thigh is resting on your left thigh. And use your next out breath, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. And you can either hold the front knee or hold the ankles and then relax the head back to the mat and draw the knees a little closer to your chest and gently rock side to side. So the feet are going out in opposite direction to each other. Right? So your right foot's going out to the left, your left foot's going out to the right and you can hold the ankles okay, and breathe, rocking gently side to side. Wonderful. And when you're ready, next time you breathe out, unwind the legs, open them wide, flex the feet coming into a wide leg stance here, lying down here. And then recross the legs with the left thigh on top of the right. Bring your head and shoulders off the floor, reach either for the front knee or for the ankles, draw the legs towards your chest and relax your head back down. And then gently rock side to side again here. And then exhale, uncross the legs, but this time keep them together. Okay? And take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to roll all the way up and coming into a seated forward bend, folding over both legs. Feet flexed. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. Okay? And relax the neck and shoulders. Feel your tummy resting close to your thighs, maybe. Okay? And breathe. And then come up and sit tall and you're going to put some warm layers on if you wish. Okay? And we're just going to do a few rounds of breathing exercise using a mudra, a hand gesture that is called the Shakti Mudra. And Shakti is about power. Okay? And they very much talk about the power in our sacral chakra. And if you think about it, this is where all our strength lies. So when we're about to lift up and do an arm balance and all that, this is where we go to, right? I forgot to do an arm balance today, sorry guys. Right, so sitting nice and tall, and what you're going to do, right, is you're going to take your thumbs and fold them into your palms, and then take the next two fingers next to your thumbs, fold them over your thumbs, so that leaves you with the ring finger and the little finger. Bring the ring fingers to touch each other and the little fingers to touch each other. Okay? And then maybe you'll find that all your, you can bring your palms together or at least close together. Okay? And then bring your hands to rest onto your tummy with your ring finger and index fingers pointing downwards. Shoulders down your back. So you should have two fingers extended. Yeah? And then close your eyes. 
and stay at that center of your body. Okay? The Japanese call this the hara center, the center where the chi lives, where the prana lives. Okay? And this is our power, our power, our place of self. And when you know your true self, you are powerful than you can imagine. Because you don't have to care what anybody says or anybody thinks of you. So connect to the breath. Become aware of breathing in and breathing out. And then maybe breathe in for four counts. Breathe out for four counts. And then see if you can start to breathe out for six counts, still breathing in for four, but breathing out for six. And stay with that. And anytime you want to increase the length of the breath, you can go to five, seven. Okay. And yogis also believe that mudras or hand gestures like this one has quite an effect on our physical body okay. and nobody knows why but I reckon there are quite a few theories behind all this but whether it's real or not okay, at least it helps us to focus but one of the things they say about this mudra is it helps your digestive system and your elimination system okay. so if you want to experiment at home later with this please do and let me know what you come up with After your next out breath, let go of the counting, relax the hands, and breathe normally for a moment longer. And then when you breathe out next time, blink the eyes open and find your way to lie down. Find yourself as comfortable on the mat as you can. Take your time to adjust. Feel free to wriggle around until you're really, really comfortable. And once you find yourself comfortable, and take a nice deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And again, nice deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> and allow the breath to flow in and out freely and softly and give yourself permission to really rest and relax, relax, relax. <laughs>